Where's that? Two? Second floor. She's the second floor. He, this guy. Like, three times. Are you alive? Are you payment plan but they're saying I'm gonna pull my payment plan because I didn't pay for a year. But it's really funny. I paid November, December, January, February, March, April, May. It only went twice last year. Here we go. I hope you guys feel sorry for me. I didn't save my receipts though. There's no well. Who's on your do you did you have this name on yours? Hey J Hall, Tony D. The friend. Desert Girl's funny in here. Say hello to Desert Goat. There's intermittent buffering, I think, because we were in an elevator. Okay. Right. I think I'm supposed to come here because I've been getting letters. The thing is, is that 
They're saying I can come here, that I came here twice in the last year. And I'm looking at you. All right, you planned back in 2019? Okay. And we do have records that you have paid, uh, but and today you just made a payment of $50. I guess this is what it is, right? Okay. So you should have an absolutely balance of uh, $1,274. So, okay, that's how much I owe, like, to pay it off? Yeah. So I can just keep, like, I was going to try to get caught up, like, just by paying extra each month. You can continue to make new uh, min, uh, minimal payments. Yeah. Well, the thing is that um, they turn on the automated system, and there's nothing that we can do about that. Um, you will be continuing uh, receiving those letters okay. because there are gaps in, in your payment. That's but I didn't make one every month, though, didn't I? Huh? Did I not make one every month? Can well, you just tell me what the biggest gap was? Let me see. I have to go to every single one. Okay, I'm sorry. You want to sit over here? Oh, no, 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 it goes for that. No, you're not going to go. I mean, they do on the other side. They have a gentleman's number. Okay, but I'll. Do they have a just go out this door? Go around the door. What if I never take in? Well, there's the hallway. You know, it depends. We are pretty okay with that, right? But if it comes to that point, sometimes they do issue warrants. Yeah, right now. Yeah, right now right. they just sent in the. Uh, um, well, those uh, are very scary letters. Huh? Those are very scary letters. It is, but um, it, it, there's something that we cannot stop. Okay, okay so it's the so automatic system. Either you're going to get the phone call or you're going to get the, uh, the okay. notification on the uh, okay. mail. Uh, but just, you know. Is, is there any way to like settle on this pay $500 and settle? No. Yeah, you, I mean, you can make payments. No, I don't want to do the whole thing. Oh, I see what you mean. No. Unfortunately, you would have to come up before the uh, the judge and ask them about that, but okay. that would be I don't know how that would come up because okay. we we don't we can't not yeah. change anything. I saw something else too. Okay, so I was arrested a, a, not too long ago for um, impeding police activity or something like that, and I had a PR bond, and then it said on the bond paper that I can, that the fine is five hundred dollars. I just start paying a fine without having to go to court. No, that I don't know. All right. So, this is your receipt. All right. You can just continue making payments. You can scan the QR code. Let me give you information. Oh, you mean I can pay online too? Yes. Yes. So, your minimum payment, your set for payment plans, your minimum payment is $46.75. Right. But every time you make a payment, the county is going to charge you a $2 transaction fee. Okay. okay. So you're going to make a payment for uh, $48.75. Got it. Okay. And then if you do it online, it's going to be an extra charge right here. So it's going to be a little bit more than $48.75. Okay. Okay. So don't use this one because this is to uh, set you up for a payment plan, but you already set for a payment plan. All right. This is if you want to do it by phone with an automatic system. Okay. Thank you. Is there a charge on our medicine system? Yes. Okay. You good? Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. All right. So that's cool. We're better now. So you should go somewhere now. Let's look at your, go to your record place. All right. Did you want your record? I wonder if the bell should. This is where we came. That like, is this where I came to look at the files? came to look at a file that I'm going to court for. Okay. Uh, give me a Certified copies of background, like a background check, or just certified copies of the court documents? Right. Either you, you can... Uh, over at the old courthouse, they should have the information there, um, but we don't have any information on it. 
Case file? Or what it was it's gonna take about it. Was case no. I don't know it. So if you have somebody else, me. there's no other I don't have one. But y'all can I can give you um, the date it happened and my CID number if you can look at it. Yeah, case CID number. But I can't give you a general it's not like you being nosy and like right. yeah. so that's where the background check kind of thing exactly. I was just trying to eliminate no, no, that's fine. I'm sorry, I keep having to bug y'all. It's on the third floor where third floor district clerk. Straight up one floor from Okay, thank y'all very much. Appreciate it. I apologize. I thought that y'all were together and she was just no. asking for you. Sorry. <laughs> I thought they were together too. Good. It's okay. Hey, which case were you looking for? The one that's on there. It's uh, interfering. On uh, October 18th. The felony? I can uh, go ahead and uh, transfer you to the felony court. Yes, ma'am. I'll give it again. Thank you. Um, and you're looking for the misdemeanor, not? Yes, right? yes. Because okay. there's only okay. one case that yeah. I'm being charged with. Oh, okay. I was a, she put multiple charges, but there's only one that I was uh, had to bond out for. Did you want a criminal history search, or you? Oh, I was going to ask him which of these he wanted, oh, okay. so I could show him. No. So I could find out exactly which one you want. No. Oh yeah. Okay. So these are all the misdemeanors. Yeah, we have to these. So these are all the misdemeanors. Which ones were you wanting? It's not on there. These are the only misdemeanors we have. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying, but I have a bond and I, I have a court date. I've already been to court two times for that, that charge that's not on here. Unless it's a felony, they're third floor. No, no, it's a misdemeanor. It's the same as this one. Misdemeanors we have. Interference with public duties. Okay. And it's uh, October 18th. See, these are only three. That's the date it was filed. The, are you saying the offense date was October 18th? Yes. Because I show, um, you have two interference with public duties, um, one dated open state December 12th, 2021, and one dated March 13th, 2022. No, I, I'm, not I, the, I'm out on, no, I'm out on bond right now for October 18th. That's how long I've been out on bond for. And so, I've been to court for that charge that you're saying is not on here. I was gonna say, yeah, these are the dates it was filed. Not the date that it actually was. Oh, basically. I'm just going to There you Okay, 
there's a possession or oh no, that's that's twenty thirteen. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is twenty twenty one. October eighteen, two thousand twenty one. Yeah, I was uh, arrested on the 18th and I was, uh, I guess, booked in with seeing the judge on the 19th. Okay. And I bonded out that same day. Right, and it looks like I'm here on the um, on the booking screen, there was no case file on that particular one. No, that's not what I'm on. I, I don't understand that part. Like, I'm not on bond for it right now. Well, you do have two cases of interfering with the public duty. Yeah, you said um, 10, 13, um, or 12, 13, and... Uh, yeah, there are two different days. One yeah. from last year and one from uh, March of this year. Yeah, it's out of uh, River Oaks, right? Um, let me double check on that. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the same day. It's not the so the first one is out of Fort, it says Fort Worth PD. Yeah. Um, and then the second one is River Oak. Yeah. That's the March one. Yeah, I know. The, then that's what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to deal with the October 18 one and no one knows where it's at. Mm -hmm. Because Thank it's you. a Because I asked the bond people and they told me y'all should have that on file because y'all showed it to them. Or, or they didn't get them, but when they bond them out, that they, that they see the whatever. They'll send about 12 more, I'm sure. Okay. Thanks, Bobby. Yes, ma'am. So, okay. Yeah, so October 19th, 2021, um, there was a resisting arrest. And then, so there's no case file on that one. There had been a $1,000 bond paid to Eddie Salazar. Yes. And then, um, at the same time, so on October 19th, 2021, wow. there was also an interview with public duties. There was no case filed. There was a $500 bond with, at, with Eddie Salazar. So there was not a case filed. So there, I guess there, the other interfere with public duty is different than this one. Is that a different time? Yes. Because that's what they're showing. So if they're saying that you're still out on bond on this one, then you might want to get something from the DA's office to say that they're not going to file a case. Well, good luck with that. Case. That's, yeah. I mean, they do those. I understand. They're not, though. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Can I have the case number for that? Well, there's not a case number. I'm just looking at the bookend screen. Oh, okay, okay. Um, you can right. get it from the sheriff's department across the street. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Guess we can get across the street. That's what she said. At the sheriff's. In the plaza building. In the plaza building. Thank you. So that's tripped out. They're running from that. Okay, so like let's say you let's say you interfere with public duties, right? Uh -huh. And you go home and you take a bath and you go to sleep and you wait. And then all of a sudden, two months later, you're being arrested and there's no case number on there. For something that happened two months previously. Is that is that possible for there not to be a case number on there? Um, I mean it, it would just depend. There's a lot of variables if the police department has it filed, you know, the the charges with it. But it doesn't have to file the charges to don't have to file Okay, so paperwork, here's the situation. The paperwork was written on April 23rd. It was signed by a judge. I got arrested two days ago. Okay. So how come there was no case on there? Because they obviously were putting their ducks in a row to get the arrest warrant signed. Right. I mean, I know there's probable cause warrant. Yes, is that the same thing? There's no data? Is there no case number on a probable cause warrant? No, not that I've seen. I mean, usually they come on those, the, the case um, gets filed later. Okay, so what's the difference between a probable cause warrant and a regular warrant? I don't know, that would be a legal definition. So, like, the probable cause warrant means that the case hasn't been, hasn't been filed yet? And it means case hasn't been filed yet. 
So how can they arrest you for the violence? That's a legal question. So okay, okay. Can they answer it somewhere here? Um, I don't. I mean, I don't think the district <laughs> attorney's office can tell answer you that. Oh, them. that's kind of weird. I was just wondering if they, were, if they were like plotting, you know, and, and getting ducks in a row and then arresting me. Why they don't have case number for it? Okay. All right, I just want okay. is, is it normal for that to happen? I mean, I've seen several probable cause warrants before, so. Okay. Do probable cause warrants usually go into a trial basis or into a, and probable cause means that it still has to go before the DA, and the DA still has to decide whether he's going to take it or not. Um, I mean, I would guess that's probably okay. why they don't have a, a case number on it. Okay, because it hasn't lost some DA yet. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Thank you. That's a good question. That's weird. So they can just make probable cause yes. on you, on warrants on you just to hand you up, right? They just hand you up and then it doesn't even go to the DA. No, but see, what's even worse is they charge me and then they don't have a case. So should we go to the DA's office and ask? Why? Man, I don't want because to. Because we don't want to remind them. Yeah, no. I'm just straight trash, man. Look at these guys right here. Okay, so this is what this is what we spend our time. Fucking straight bullshit. What y'all think about that shit, man? Sounds like some bullshit to y'all, right? Did y'all hear what they just said?
You know what? what? Ain't, ain't it here where you could look it on on the? I don't know what's up here. Yeah, where where Cody was going on this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's up there. We'll, we can get it there. No, nah, they say it doesn't have a case number, so it, it won't be in there. Oh. So that was a probable cause one too. No, because I got arrested that day. Yeah, but it's in the case number. You know why it doesn't? You know why they're trying to hide? Remember the date I kept oh, that's saying? Right. October 18th of last year. Yes. So, and I want you to pay attention to that date. October okay. of last year. All right. Okay? Where they, where they the, where they no, she, she, uh, her neck, her, her uh, no, it's a, it, it's the gang unit. Her, her name is her the officer's name is T Stevens, T. Stevens. right she pulled me over and said I was driving she pulled me over and said I, the headlight was out which wasn't true right so she started asking me questions and I asked her what'd you pull me over for she said the broke no headlight I said cool give me my ticket yeah. she goes no I need a, I need you to uh, where are you coming as soon as she started the questions I said I don't want to answer your questions write your ticket and we can argue about it in court and she didn't like that. She didn't like that I wasn't, because her she thing. Right? She didn't like me right? Yeah, and then she's like, well, where are you coming from? I said, write the ticket. I don't want to talk to you. And then she goes, I need you to step out. And I said, for what? And I said, what's your probable cause? And she told me, because the headlight's out, I laughed. And I said, you sound real dumb, miss. And that's what made her mad. She said, either you get out or I'm going to pull you out. And then that's when, the, it was her and another guy. I, re I think the, the, the other guy's name is Car Garbahal or, Star or Gab some, some weird name like that, right? So they put, the, the, he, she tells me if she doesn't get out, I don't get out, she's gonna pull me out. So I said, all right, fuck it. I don't want you manhandling me. So I said, I'm gonna entertain you. So I got out. And as soon as I got out, I said, okay, now, write the ticket, write the ticket. She goes, where are you coming from? Where are you? I said, I'm not answering nothing and I don't give you permission to search the vehicle. She goes, I don't need your permission. I said, yes, you do. She does need your permission. And she goes, turn around. And I said, for what? And that's when she threw me into the car, into the back of the back window of the car. And then she handcuffed me. I said, what am I going to jail for? She goes, for no driver's license. I said, we haven't even got that far, but since you already know who I am, right? So there's no reason to talk to you no more. So I showed up talking to her and I told her, I'm not gonna answer no more questions unless it's my name because you're legally arresting me for no driver's license. Right. I, I got handcuffed, arrested like that. I asked for the supervisor. I knew she was taking me to jail for that. I, I'm not gonna, I don't have a driver's license, right? I know that. So she tells the supervisor something different than what I said, right? So on the way to jail, her partner starts answering me questions. She's the arresting officer, not him. I already told her my name and my birthday. She wrote it in the little notepad she put on her, in, her, in her pocket on her, uh, where they have it right here on their chest, yeah. right? So tell me why he tells me I have to talk to him. I said, nah, now I'm legally under arrest. I, I invoke my Fifth Amendment to not talk to you. Yeah. No, well, you're resisting your failure to ID. And I said, no, I'm not. I already told her my name. Right. It's on your cameras. So te now I know why they turned them all off. Even the car, yeah. That's why I told you, every arrest that I have, they turn off the body camera because I'm telling them the law and how they're gonna get in trouble. So look, listen, she on the way to jail, they're trying to convince me that they have the right to take pictures of my tattoo for their gang file. And then I asked her, what gives you the right to do that? She said, because. I, I'm taking you to jail and I'm doing a gang investigation. I said, you pulled me over for a traffic stop. I'm in jail for no driver's license, nothing gang related. So you're telling me you can pull anyone over for a traffic stop, take them to jail, and they take pictures of tattoos because you're a gang unit? They can, they can take pictures of tattoos? No, 
No. So she got mad because I didn't want to cooperate. So she told me, I'm going to put more charges on you. I said, do whatever you need to. I'm not going to let you take pictures. The only picture she took of me was me doing her like this. That's it. That's it. That's it. So I got... How do you know how you suffer from taking pictures? I, like that. I flipped her off. I flipped her off. That's the only picture she took. And I told her she's going to legally have to violate my rights to do it. She knew better. But what she did, she turned what she arrested me for into a ticket, charged me with interfering, resisting arrest, transportation, detention, and uh, another one. How were you interfering with an arrest when you were stopped? I already gave her. She's the arresting officer. And that's not even the messed up part. On the police report, she pulled me over on Loden Street. Right. On the police report, she said she put she pulled me over on Glen Garden. So what was why is that significant now? Because she is trying to put me into a gang investigation that she has no authority That's or boundary. right to That's do. That's a boundary. Just because she has, uh, just because their gang unit doesn't give them the right is to. That, is so, the street like a boundary? What? Like, what? like she moved to another street? That's no, because before that arrest, right, she was dealing with gang members. So she wanted to put me in part of that gang investigation so she can say this is another part of it. I just caught okay. him. And, 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 and this is the same officer, T. Stevens, that in 2018 got in trouble for official pressure, untruthfulness. She's on the Brady list? Yes. She's on the Brady I'm, list. That's what I'm telling you. I know. She's and she's, she's the Brady part list. of the 337 that I have. You, no, yeah. 337 on the Brady list. Yes. Here, here. She's one of them. Fort Worth. And she's on the still doing it. And she's still on She to... got in trouble for internal affairs for official oppression, untruthfulness, 2018. She arrested me in 2021. How many more has she done since then? We We're going to find out. Can we, wait, can we get, can we request all my arrests between then and then? Yeah, but you have to, you have to find out. All we have to do, you know what? It would just, all we have to do is pick like 10. And I bet you. Well, so, so that's the case I that I just asked, asked about. I think we just choose 10. So there, there's there's no, it, it hasn't been filed or nothing like that, man. So basically, they just have a case floating around, right? And this is the first, after my July 25th arrest, this is the next charge that I caught. This is the next false charge that they put on me because they lied on police report. And when I was telling them the truth, they turned off the body camera of, of the, on the, uh, every officer that was there because a lot of them showed up. I asked for the supervisor, the supervisor showed up, a uh, uh, backup officer showed up, and then the person I was with, I told them to start recording, right? And when she started to, the officer took the phone out of her hand and told her, uh, I don't want you calling nobody for help. And we're like, it says she's recording you. It's not illegal to record. That's all you hear in the video. And then that was it, and he turned the recording off. So it isn't like they don't know what they're doing is wrong. They've already been punished for it. They've already been disciplined for it. But that just shows that they didn't learn shit. They didn't learn nothing because they're still doing it. She got in trouble for doing the same thing in 2018. We're in 2022. She her last yeah, official question was in 2018. She's still out there on the same thing. It's like, it's like uh, collateral damage, she doesn't care. As long as she gets, I don't think the, I don't think her bosses care as long as she gets the, uh, the, the arrest. Result. Right. They don't care about how she got the arrest, except they got the arrest. So she's sacrificing herself to her bosses. Do you think they'll be there for her whenever she needs them? No.
Huh? Uh, do you want him? Blue Snader? There's, okay, Blue Snader, hop no. over there. Yeah, okay, so he's gonna watch you. What, I can have two of them? No, you only have two. No, I can have two? You can, yeah, you can have as many mods as you want. Did you know that? No. Oh, he didn't know you could have only one mod. Nice. He's new at this, at the, this one here on Facebook. So, in 15 minutes, all the 5 o'clock people are going to be getting out. All the 5 o'clock officers are going to get out. Okay, is it there? Okay, you can move on. Can you tap on the little icon? Say something. Oh, it's 325. There, I gave him one. I figured Karen needs help with these uh, yeah, boot lickers. She's the only one, but oh my gosh, I got attacked by boot lickers the other day in my life. Oh, I got arrested. I was, you Hi, think, guys. You think he'll give us an interview? No. Nope. Yeah. Go up to the office and stand out in front of it. Let's see where his office is. Nah. You don't want to stand in front of his office? No, I don't know where it's at. It's on the, I think it's on the sixth floor. We just walk by it. It's a suite. I think that's where his office is. I don't know. We never see Bill. Let's see if he's there now. He might be here. It's Friday. He probably left like at he 9 in the morning. We won't see him, so let's go and check if he's here. <laughs> We're going to have to have Bill the board my sheriff. Why did he accept thousands of dollars for drug trafficking? Get it off my street. Oh, and then turn it in, and then turn it into a sting on the <laughs> internet. Yeah, you know that's he all did. you caught. He, this is what he did. He could not find any human traffickers. So what they did was they got an expert in the computers, and they used decoys on the computers to get a few business from this stuff. Justify why they did that. Anybody can do that. You got people do that online right now with pedophiles. <laughs> Communications, warrants, administration. I guess it's seven. Seven. Four seven? Yeah, it's four seven. Sheriff's department's on four seven. Do you know what that lady told me yesterday when I went to get my record? She said that. She said that she was confused. She thought that the municipal. Oh, the municipal was I knew you would. Blue. I knew you'd get it. It's if they have a different color blue. Thousands of dollars for drug trafficking. I mean, not drug trafficking. To stop human trafficking. But he didn't find me. So to justify him taking all that money, he did. A deep voice. Oh, Hello. Excuse me. Yep. Just like a big suite. Let's go to the right. Decoys on the internet. This is the tower, the Tarrant County Tower. This is one of the richest counties.
counties in Texas because of all the money they get from the oil and cattle. There it is. This is Tarrant County Sheriff's Department. She didn't see it yet. I think this is where Daddy Bill's office is. I guess it's not here. So we want to know where all that money went to. Is he reading the magazine? Is there a lady? I think that's the one they... It's, oh, her name's Kim, Kim Bowles. Yeah, I think she didn't see it yet. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. She saw me. No, she's gonna send the alert. No, I, we don't want nothing. We're it's just locked? walking around. Why is, it, why is it locked if it's the sheriff's department? Why are you scared? Is it locked? She said, use the phone. Is it locked? Oh, it's locked. I guess they're scared. Yeah. She oh. said, use the phone to talk to her. That's so scary. They're so scared. Why are they scared? I don't think it's her. I think it's him that wants it like that. Oh. You know. Okay. I wonder if this is the only way out of there. No, no. This is the seventh floor. So. I think that's where his office might be. I'm surprised she hasn't sent me a warning. She probably will. She's going to send me a warning. They don't know it's from here. Oh, there she goes. Hi, I just came to get one of those packets to file the complaint on the sheriff. Okay, have a seat real quick and I'll let them know you're through, okay? Yeah, I just need the paper to file it. Okay. Yeah. She's over there on that side. Yeah, I just need that packet y'all give to uh, fill out complaints, I'm sure. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. I just need the, the form to fill out and I'll come back. You need to talk to internal affairs? No, today? no. Okay. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll talk to y'all when I have it filled out. I'll come back with it. Okay, okay. That gym, I see you hit that motherfucker hard. Yeah, I got a 
I see. Yeah. Just getting information, man. So you are the internal internal affairs people over here? No, I work for the CID. What, yeah, is, what is that? Okay. Uh, criminal investigations division. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You know, sir. yeah, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all. Right. Shaking your neck boots. That's how we do them boys. What happened to them boys? Criminal investigation division. <clears throat> have some way to go. Yeah. yeah or, pl or, 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 they, or they'll just wait us out until the building closes and they make us leave and then they'll go out. Yeah, this is where I just came. Yeah. I came right now, right here, to get this. You could ask them why they did that to you. Yeah, yeah she was just here a little while ago. Oh. I'm gonna ask her she knows. Because the receptionist always knows everything, right? Maybe. Hi. I was wondering if, the, if I could, um, I wanted to do an interview for one of the decoys. The what? One of the decoys, you know the decoys? This office. Yes, they're out of this office. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They knew about the decoys. They're really serious about it. Wow. And, and, then, it, and, then, and, then, and then she tried to get you to get your name. Yeah, I told the other guy who it was because. No, 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 but what I'm saying is, uh -huh. like, she she got your name to be like, okay, well, we'll, we'll consider you, <laughs> yeah. and then when you asked her, are there any openings, she said no. Right, so I'm going to fill an application if there's openings. And, and it's a secret application, too, you can't just fill it out online or whatever. Yeah, but, um, yeah if I'm in Tarrant County or, or Fort Worth, I'll give my name because everybody doesn't have name anyway, so there's no reason not to. I don't think she knew she wasn't supposed or to tell you.
those decoys, the human trafficking decoys, the ones that get online and entice, and entice the businessmen to come out and then they arrest for prostitution? Sorry. I was, but I was told to come here to apply. And I forgot what floor I was supposed to go on. Yeah, you have to get back online. I can interview you. Yeah, I could just like tell you what I would say to the guy. I don't get him out for prostitution. I could tell him all kinds of things. Because that's what they do. They talk on the phone like that. So it means the guy with females working there. So I wonder what the interview process is. Do you think I'll have to like demonstrate my talents? I have no idea what you mean. Well, I'm supposed to come here to interview. Wrong place. Well, where does he keep his decoys? Where does Daddy Bill keep his decoys? He must have some big, he must have, does he keep them in his house? Am I going to have to do any kind of like physical activity to, to interview? You know? mm -hmm. He's got to justify all that money to the federal government. Of course it's just in the decoy program. So I mean, I'd be happy to help him spend that money. I can spend money really easily. I'd be great for it. Should have brought one of your cards. Oh, I do have one here. Uh, that way you can give it to the higher yeah, ups. Yeah, whenever you find out what decoys are, you can give them my card. Nah, it has her email and stuff like that. Yeah, but I didn't write that I was a professional decoy. Don't know. He'll I tell them. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. No, I don't think so. Here's my card. Why, they're not here no more? They're not here. They're... Did you shut that program down? The decoy program? Shut the program down. It's crazy. Because they only have enough money, they have to spend it all. Hello. Do you know what the decoy program is? Am I supposed to come here for an interview for a decoy? On the internet? No. Why can nobody tell me? You know, all that money that Daddy Bill took for the trafficking email, doing the decoys. So I was hoping that I could get a job with the decoys. Because they said, they told me to come here. I'm really good on the phone. I really talk a lot of sexual stuff there. Do you know who the head of the decoy pro pro program is? It's a guy named Daddy Bill. No? Did he already spend all the money that he was supposed to on that? Did you know he got that huge grant? Well, darn it. I'd be such a good decoy, too. I could have acted so easily. I could have got all those men out there. Right? I could have used sound effects and everything to get out of the house and use my car. Maybe they'll maybe they'll all be here to talk to the people with that idea. Because see, it's the weekend, so that's the time to really get them get those guys out. It's like prostitution. If you're if you're a sex man, it's an idiot to get them out. I can change voices too. I can sound like a little girl. I can sound like a, you know, Midwest. Anything they want, I can be. I've been fancy. Unless you call Daddy Bill. So if I get him out. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I'm supposed to call Daddy Bill and show him what I can do. Hey, Daddy Bill. Leave him a message. Hey, Daddy Bill. Maybe that's how you interview. Maybe that's how you interview. You, do you leave it on his messages? He screens the messages. Yeah, he does. I should just call him and leave it. Like, you know, when I say, I can tell him, you know, say your message. I thought I'd just go, hey, Daddy, it's Carolina. I'm here to interview for the decoy program. I'm just love, love, love to see you. Don't do anything here. I'm going to ask you $50 for the mom fee. Hmm. 
Maybe all cops. What'd y'all think? Is that 10? Is that it? Did you have any request? Would y'all be fooled by that? Yeah, would you be fooled by that? And I'll give you some money? Or would you automatically think, man, this, this, is, a this is a trap? This is a trap. This but now be honest, man, because yeah. she's, she's really trying to do this. So, what she's just think, practicing, man. What do you think? Is that good? Do you want to do more explicit and sexual? I can do that. Don't you want to do more explicit? Do you like anybody? Gosh darn it. This is something that let me know if I get the job or not. I guess I'll just have to let the daddy go and call me. Yep. Oh, well, there's my card. Have daddy go call me. Pass it on to him, sir. Yeah, make sure I'll be the best boy ever. Y'all did a great job, man. Alright y'all, we about. Appreciate you, everybody watching. Yeah, we appreciate y'all coming. Give me a give me a one if you think that I would have would have got the job. Give me a one if I would have got that job. <laughs> Thank you for me. I'm on the sun now. I can't see. Huh? Thank everybody for me because I can't read it. Man. You can't see it either? Is it just me? No. no you can't read it. Okay, I'm screen gonna, sucks. I'm gonna get the phone. My phone too. Yeah, but your screen <laughs> sucks. All right, y'all. Appreciate it, everybody who, uh, had my back while I had Carolina's back so they wouldn't do no crazy shit to her. You know how they be sometimes. So, came to back up my coworker. I uh, appreciate everybody. So, that's where we at, um, Karen M, appreciate you. Lucinator, appreciate you. Ashamid, Canadian, appreciate you. Gil, Gordon, I write from the UK. Dennis D, appreciate you. Tyra Hunter, Jamie. Spidey man. Big ass forehead, really. Yeah. All right, man. Right here, so Richard. All right, y'all get ready for the next one. Oh, everybody, everybody gave me one. They said I would be able to do that job pretty good. Thank yeah. Oh, uh, 